months since Blessing started working as a teacher at a school in the neighborhood. Chichi and I are extremely happy that one more person is doing something good with her life. But it seems the teaching job came with the boyfriend package because a few weeks after Blessing got the job, she's always on the phone speaking with a mysterious man. Okay. We'll talk later when I come for your daughter's home lesson in the evening. Okay, bye. You know it's wrong to eavesdrop on people's phone calls, right? Hmm. See this one. So I should block my eyes and ears because you're taking the phone call? No, but you shouldn't open your ears like cocoa yam leaves. Who was on the phone, by the way? None of your business. How are you enjoying your work as a school teacher? Very much. Especially the home lesson part of it. Mm. It has opened my eyes to a lot of life's realities. How so? I've learned that many wives are the reasons why their husbands have extramarital affairs. You cannot sacrifice a marriage on the altar of career. Wait, and you learned all that working as a school teacher? Yep. How so? Okay. There's this little girl in my class. Mm -hmm. Her dad drops her off and picks her up most times. Mm -hmm. At first, I thought he was a single parent until I got close to them. And I realized he has a wife. The girl has a mother. But she's too busy with her banking career to take part in the girl's life. I don't see anything in the father taking care of their daughter, especially if he has more time on his hands than the mother. Gina, every woman should take care of their child, especially a girl child. Mm -hmm. I think it's about understanding. He told me he had already begged her to change her job. And we all know how difficult that is in this part of the world, case in view. Gina, that is not an excuse. The woman doesn't cook. Mm -hmm. The man goes to the market himself most of the time, and she even denies him of his conjugal rights, sexual intercourse. Wait, how is it possible that this man is willing to share so much of his personal marriage problems with his daughter's teacher? Hello, people. Yeah? Hey, hey, madam. I hope you're not going out. I don't have to tell you that because you can see I am dressed to go out. We were supposed to clean the house today, spring cleaning. Wait, did we agree on that? Yes, on Thursday I walked in and I said, this house is very untidy. And you said, oh no, we should wait until weekend so we can do a general cleaning in the house. Wait, I said that. Come, come, come. You better go inside and remove this clue because nobody is your house helping this house. Okay, fine. Listen. I think I have a better idea. How about I pay you girls to take care of the fashion of my choice? Agnes, the native thumb that I will fire you in. Can you imagine? Okay. I'll take that as a no. See you girls later. Bye. Wait. Agnes! 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 feel the need to share so much of his marital information with you, his daughter's school teacher. Oh, that. Okay, aside being his daughter's school teacher, mm -hmm. I'm also a private home lesson teacher. So? So, when I go there to teach her, he's at home most times. Is he jobless? No. He runs his own personal IT company and he works from home. Hmm. Better be careful, blessing. Careful about what again. Because now. when a married man is giving you bad information about his wife, it means he's officially offering you the position of a side chick. Gina, he's not like that. He's a good man. He's kind-hearted. He's nice. He's responsible. Hmm. 
And you sound like you have comfortably taken the position of a side chick already. Stop it, Chichi. Stop what? Is it wrong to give a desperate man a listening ear? You have no business listening to the lamentations of a married man. Really? Abby, are you a marriage counselor? So now it's a crime to feel concerned for your fellow human being. Okay, that's where it starts. Now from club, that's the end We're here. Baby, baby, let's just change the topic. Okay. Lady, welcome. So from today henceforth, you will do the dishes in this house for the next one week because you refuse to join us in the house. Whatever. She doesn't look okay. She's fine. She's just pretending so we don't attack her for not cleaning the house with us. Tina, are you sure? It's Agnes. She's always full of tricks. Okay. All right, so I'm still clean, yeah. Are you all right? I'm fine. Are you sure you don't want to talk about it? No. Okay, that means you're not all right for you. Don't just want to talk about it. Yes. Okay. Where did you go? Leonard's place. And how was he? It's fine. Don't ever call my number again! Did you guys have a fight? I said I don't want to talk about it. Sorry. So now I'm playing them. No, no, no. Gina, this is not right. How? What do you mean by how? Please count my scores. One, two, three, one. Something unpleasant happened between Leonard and Agnes. Did she tell you that? No. But she looks depressed. And she told Leonard when he called not to call her again. You see, I knew something was off when she came back. And I told Gina she said she was pretending. No, she wasn't. And whatever it is must be serious. Did you ask her? She doesn't want to talk about it. Then let it go. What if she was raped? What? What kind of demonic thought is that one blessing? Why would Leonard want to rape her? You know she says she's been playing these guys and not sleeping with them. Mm -hmm. What if Leonard got tired and took it by force? Ha. Well, he better be ready to spend the next 14 years of his life in jail because I will make sure he doesn't get away with it. Agnes. Hi. What's wrong? Nothing. Don't tell me nothing. You're just coming back from Leonard's place, right? Right. So, what happened there? Nothing you should worry yourself about. Did he rape you? No. Where did you get that from? Agnes, you can't lie to me. If Leonard raped you, we should make him pay. He didn't do that. He wouldn't have. I don't believe you. I think you're in denial. Something terrible happened at his place quite all right. But it's nothing as close to what you're thinking. So, what happened? He slapped me! He what? 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 He beat you? No! Not beat! Just one slap! But a hot one. Listen, it doesn't matter. The most important thing is that he hit you and thereby inflicting physical, mental, and emotional torture. Agnes, what happened? Mm -hmm. What did you do? It doesn't matter what happened. No man should ever raise his hand on a woman, no matter what. Yeah. Hmm. But Gina, something must have led to the act. Exactly. Okay, fine. I saw a message from a girl on his phone 
which suggests that they are romantically involved. Mm -hmm. And when I confronted him, he denied. One thing led to the other. Mm -hmm. I got angry. I smashed his phone. Hey, hey, hey. And then he slapped me. You smashed his phone. Mm -hmm. It is still not a reason for him to raise his hand on her. No matter what. I, mean, I don't know what to say. Oh. I'd rather just keep quiet. Mm. Because... Sure, sorry for the hot slap. Mm -mm. Don't patronize me, Chichi. I know you think I deserve more than just that slap, right? Don't you? Like I said before, I'd rather keep quiet. So you slap said. Agnes, I think you should leave Leonard. He crossed the line. Chichi, I don't like your silent judgment. How can you say I deserve what Leonard did to me? I didn't say that, Agnes. So what did you mean by you'd rather not say anything? Agnes, please, can you go and get the consolation you seek from Gina and Lesson? Has a man ever raised his hand on you before? No. And I have never smashed a man's phone before, especially when I'm also guilty of the crime I am accusing him of. Oh! So because Leonard is not the only one I'm dating, gives him the right to beat me up? He didn't beat you up. He slapped you. You said so yourself. How hard is it for you to be there for a friend without being judgmental? Agnes, believe it or not, I am your best friend. Because I am the only one who tells you the bitter truth without sprinkling some salt on it. I need to see Agnes. I don't think she wants to see you. Gina, why are you being so rude? This is my house. You can't ask me why I'm being rude in my house. Please, can you just go in there and tell Agnes that I'm here? And if I say no and insist you have to leave my house, will you slap me as well? Oh. I see. She told you what happened. I respect you a lot, Leonard. But how can you raise your hand on your girlfriend just because she questioned you about some suspicious message from a girl? She told you I slapped her because she questioned me? Well, she slammed your phone. But even like that doesn't justify why you have to raise your hand on a girl! No, Gina! She smashed my phone on my television set! I tried to put her under control. She punched me in the face! She did that? After that, I mean, after she smashed my phone and my television set, uh, I hit her in reflex. It wasn't intentional, it wasn't, it wasn't in my making. I didn't mean to do that. Did you smash Leonard's phone on his TV screen? Where did you hear that? Is it true? And did you punch him in the face after destroying his properties? What? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? Okay, fine. I did it. But he should have been a man and not hit me back. So you lied to us about what happened? I didn't. Just that I didn't tell you the whole truth. Agnes, you're becoming very comfortable with your lies and it's really disturbing. And it's not as if you caught him pants down. According to him, she was the one who was after him. And you saw that clearly in the message you read. Wait, did you call Leonard? How did you get to know about all this? Leonard is in the living room. And next time, remind me to verify your stories before I believe you. I mean, if you had given me the chance, I would have explained that she was the one coming after me. Hmm. But you were playing along and giving her attention. I uh, know. Baby, she is one of our biggest customers at the office. Hmm. You know I can be rude to her? That doesn't mean that I want to have anything to do with her. Baby. 
so sorry that I hit you. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have done that. I'm sorry. Okay? Chichi, I am not doing anything wrong. Even though he's contemplating divorcing his wife. What? He told you that? Yes, he did. While I was trying to make lunch for him and the kid. <laughs> hmm. So, you cooked for him? Yes, I did. He said they were hungry and asked me if I could cook for them. And I said, okay. What if the wife came back and met you cooking in her kitchen? What would you have told her? I would have told her to make sure she manages her marriage and not leave her husband and child home. Work. I got fired. What? You started that job only two months ago. Don't mind the school management. Someone reported me to them and they didn't even bother hearing my side of the story. Who reported you? And over what? Mrs. Marcos, the mother of the girl I take on private lessons. Uh, is that the wife of the man that dropped you at our gate the other day? Yes. The man Gina and Chichi want you to stay away from? Mm-hmm. She went to tell the school management that I'm having an affair with her husband. Have you? No! Uh -uh. So what proof did she have to back up the allegation for the school to believe her? She read our chats and obviously she misunderstood them. Wait, what did you and the man chat about? He was always complaining of her nonchalant attitude and I condemned it as well. Welcome back to the unemployment pool. Agnes, please, can I ask you for a favor? Can you please not tell Chichi and Gina I got fired? Don't worry, I'll try to get a job soon. So I will lie to them that I resigned from the teaching job. Please. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Hello, Gina. Guess what? Blessing just got fired. really tired today. This is worse than tiredness. I am worn out, exhausted, name it. I can't believe I made it through the day. That bad? It was worse. I was just all over the place from one meeting to another meeting and there were still clients waiting for me in the office. Wow. I had to rush back to the office 
had the meeting and rushed out again for another meeting. It was crazy. Well, that sounds like good news. I mean, business is doing good. I'm happy for you. I'm not happy for myself. All my body aches, my back, my feet, my head. Can someone be a darling and give me a foot massage? What? You wish. Do I look like Daniel to you? It was so bad. I was just trying to do too many things at the same time. I don't know why you don't want to hire people and delegate duties to them. You can't do everything alone, you know? I know, but I have employees on commission. I just call them when necessary. I'm talking about permanent staff that you put on the salary. Your business is steady now. It's about time. It's only logical you have some steady staff. I guess you're right. Yeah. Maybe I'll just bring one or two people on board. Please, what do we have for Tina? I am hungry. Oh. Agnes made a disastrous, salty, tasty soup and a semo that is so watery you can drink it with a straw. It's worse. See for yourself. The food is not that bad, but your bad belly will not allow you to eat it. I beg go. I don't have bad belly, mm. but I'm sure my belly will go bad if I put this sacrifice you call food in it. Even the gods will reject this thing as a sacrifice. Eh, yeah. <laughs> no problem. I will never cook in this house again. I will appreciate it. What's going on here now? <sighs> ah, welcome back, Chichi. See, nobody should blame me if I don't cook in this house again. What? Nobody. Why? What's the matter? I made dinner. And you needed to see the way Gina and Blessing condemned the food as if I don't know how to cook at all. Of course you know how to cook. At least you make noodles and boiled eggs. You're bish. Let me just leave this place before it gets on my last nips. Mm -hmm. But Blessing, that's not right now. How? She tried to make us dinner and instead of you to encourage her, you're crucifying her for her good deeds. Babe, there's nothing good about the poison she made. Uh-uh, it can't be that bad. And besides, cooking is not easy. You should encourage her. There's nothing to encourage. You're talking like this because you've not tasted it. Okay, let me taste it. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> See what I mean? <laughs> Where's water? Where's drinking water? <coughs> Agnes, please, what did we do to you? What do you mean? If any of us or all of us have offended you in any way, please forgive us. What are you talking about? How can anybody make that type of soup to give to a fellow human being if she doesn't want to kill them? Mm. So you have joined them, Abby? Agnes, if that soup I just tasted is a true test of your culinary skill, <laughs> we need to take you to a kitchen school ASAP. Immediately. Listen, I know how to cook. And you poured one bag of salt and one container of red pepper into a pot of soup? That was a mistake. A mistake? Hmm. Okay, this is what happened.
distracted because you were chatting with your phone. Yes. And I also made the same mistake when I wanted to add the pepper. Ta! Nadia, I just think you're a terrible cook. Listen, you ladies are entitled to your own opinion. Gina? Yeah. You said you wanted to see me. Yep. I hope you're not thinking of throwing me out of your house. No, why would I even do that? Well, because I'm not contributing to the upkeep of the house. True, and it's time we change that, which is why I need us to talk. Look, Gina, I've, I've been trying to get a job. I went for an interview last week, and I'm hoping they call me soon. Well, Chi Chi's event business is doing pretty good, like really good right now. And she's planning to hire two or three people as staff to help her out with the work. So I'm thinking you need to talk to her. Talk to her about what? Didn't you hear what I just said? Of course I did. But if Chi Chi is hiring, why is she not offering me a job? Because I'm the one who talked her into hiring this night. Listen, Gina, it's, it's not like I don't want to work for Chi Chi or... I want to be sure she wants me to work for her. What is wrong with you? Blessing, you need her more than she needs you right now. Bro, well, she's my friend. Yeah? It doesn't mean she'll throw the job off at you. Business is business. What exactly is she hiring for? I don't know. Just talk to her first. But please don't let her know I talked you into doing this. Why not? Because I don't want her to feel I'm imposing you on her. So oh. just approach her, start up a normal conversation, and then find a way to pitch yourself for employment to her. Okay. Yeah? Thank you. You're a good friend. No. <laughs> <sighs> Also, <sighs> nothing much. I'm not feeling sleepy. So I decided to come talk to you. Well, I'm about to crash because I had a very hectic day today. Plus, I have an early morning tomorrow. Yeah. Mm. Bele? Work must be really demanding. You have no idea. Hmm. Hmm. Do you need help with the workload? Like uh, an employee who's also a friend? Uh, no. I'm not hiring. Why not? Because business cannot afford to pay permanent staff for now. Oh. Yeah. But, but Gina said you're planning to hire, and I should come talk to you about it. Talk to me about what exactly? To hire me? Yeah, you know I'm jobless and. I don't know why you didn't offer me the job in the first place. I had to hear it from Gina. Why would you set me up like that, Gina? I didn't set you up, Chi Chi. I just asked her to discuss the possibility of you hiring her. And I told her not to mention it was my idea. Gina, blessing cannot work with me. Or you don't want to work with her? Listen, same, same difference. Look, business and friendship are like water and oil. They don't mix. But I. I strongly feel you both make a great team because you already know each other well. We know each other as friends. Business is a different ball game. Well, my understanding of friendship is that we help make each other better. And honestly, I don't like the way Blessing is well, idle. I don't like it either. But I cannot risk my growing business at the, at the altar of friendship. Chichi, you don't have to. Just give her a chance, please.
Uh, so like I was explaining to you, all I want is an executive assistant who can multitask mm -hmm. and is versatile. I am versatile. Are you sure? Because mm -hmm. today you can be the accountant, next tomorrow the manager, maybe next week errand girl, something like that. Errand girl. Mm -hmm. Babe, can you please remove that from the job description? Blessing, your job description is whatever I say it is. <laughs> okay, Ma. So can we talk about the salary? Because I've been doing the job of 20 people. Oh, okay. So your salary is 50,000 naira. 50. But trust me, you have to earn that money. Babe. Can't we increase it to about 80 or 85,000? Don't make me reduce the 50k. Fine. So we have a movie premiere to plan for next month and we are pressed for time. So there are lots of stuff I want you to do. You're welcome. All right, babe. <clears throat> you see, there's something I always wanted to ask you. What is it? All right, calm down. Mm -hmm. I don't want you to take it some type of way. I've noticed that you're never in the office with Chichi. Yes. And you told me you own the company with her. So why is that? Wait, who said I'm never at work? Okay, nobody has to tell me that. I mean, I've been around for like two weeks now, and I've never seen you go to work. It's either you're at the spa, at the movies, shopping, or chilling at my place. Babe, that is because I'm on leave. Okay. And I'm surprised you're complaining I'm creating time for us. No, 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 no. I, I'm not complaining. I'm just observing. Yes, you are. You are a sailor who will be leaving anytime soon. I'm just trying to ensure we have enough time to spend together. Oh, fair enough, fair enough. See, see, see. I, I'm sorry, okay? And I appreciate it. Mm, you have a funny way of showing it. You cheat now. I'm sorry. What has work do? Well, good. That could be better if I had a car. Jumping from taxi to bus every day could be stressful. Meaning you want a car? Baby, baby mobility is a necessity in this city. Mm. I mean, it's good for packaging and to create the right image. Okay. Mm. Okay. Okay. So what kind of car do you want? Um... I've been trying to reach you. Oh, I left my phone to charge in the other office. Where did you go? For lunch. For two hours? Babe. I went to the Amala spot at the bus stop. The line was so long and annoying. But after I got to my turn, I tasted the food. And I realized why they have so many customers. Have you called the manager of the cinema like I asked you to? Mm-hmm. I called him. Well, his number was busy, so I'm supposed to call back. What about the woman who's supposed to supply the drinks? I called her soon. She was in the market and it was noisy. I'll call her back as well. The printer who's to print the invites? Uh, oh, no. I... Blessing, I gave you three tasks. And not even one were you able to conclude successfully. Are you sure you need this job? Come on, Chi Chi, listen. Just shut up! Eh? Listen to me. I do not need flimsy excuses from you anymore. I give you 10 minutes. 10 minutes to get me a conclusive report. Else just fire yourself and go home. Whoa. Your 10 minutes starts now. Now! Okay. 
Okay. It doesn't look like you had a good first day at work. Isn't all that Chichi? You need to see the way she was talking to me today as if we're age mates. But she's your boss. She can't hear your boss be that. Because person won't chop me to me say go call cow bros. Babe, you need to chill. You know Chichi doesn't joke with her business. But that doesn't mean she should be disrespectful. I saw a totally different Chichi today. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm sorry. Anyways, I am glad my day was better than yours. Mm -hmm. Let me guess, you went to the spa. Wrong. Wilson was here today and he promised to buy me a car! <laughs> wait, wait. Like a real car? Uh uh. A toy car. Seriously? Mm hmm. Ah! Yeah! <laughs> Agnes, if you ask me, you don't need a car right now. Uh -uh. I am not asking you. I am telling you. Well, a car is not an asset, it's a liability. <gasps> That's a myopic way of thinking, Gina. No, it's not. Gina is right. And besides, it's not like you have a job you're driving the car to every day. Or you can tell him to give you the money for the car so you can start up a business. But I have a business already. I mean, Chichi and I run Apex event together. Ha ha ha. Very funny how you're beginning to believe your lies. Apex event is my business and mine alone. But I am an investor in that business, Chichi. Which investor, please? I gave you the money to rent the office and set it up. That I paid like three months ago? Yeah. Mm. That's true, but, but, but what did I use the money for? <laughs> Shopping, regular spa treats, one week trip to Dubai. Anyways, I am getting the car and I don't care if you girls like it or not. waiting for you. Why? So we can go together when your taxi gets here and I don't have to pay extra on my taxi. <laughs> mm. Morning, Gina. Morning. Blessing, you should really go to work and stop waiting for Chi Chi. Why? Because she's your boss. You're not supposed to arrive at work at the same time. I beg, I beg, I beg, I beg, I beg. Stop all these formalities. So because I work for Chi Chi or she's my boss, doesn't make us friends anymore? Well, suit yourself. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Hmm. So, what are we doing today, boss lady? Before we get to that, hmm, I would like to announce to you that I would have to deduct 5,000 naira from your salary by the end of the month. What for? For coming to work late. I just walked in with you, Chichi. My point exactly. I'm not supposed to come to work with you or before you. So for every time that happens, I would have to deduct 5,000 naira from your money. <laughs> wow, you're joking, bro. I'm not joking. You have to adjust your resumption time, else you'll be the one owing me by the end of the month. Wow. Wow. You didn't want to give me the job in the first place. Now you give it to me and you're trying to frustrate me out of it. You know what? You win. Because I quit. Uh -uh. Babe, as a friend, you're wonderful. But as a boss, jeez. You're the worst boss in the world. Hi. Gina, are you ready to leave now? Yep. What's up? Yeah, I'm also ready to leave, but I was hoping maybe I could drop you off. No, there's no need. My taxi guy is outside. He's oh, waiting. Come on, tell him to go out, drop you off. 
No, that's like too much stress on you. Besides, your house is very far away from mine. Juna, it's no stress, all right? And besides, it's Friday, and I was hoping we could have some drinks, and then I'll drop you off later. Honestly, I would rather just go home and rest. All right, I need something from you. What's that? Can I have Chichi's contact? Um, a cousin of mine is getting married and he needs the services of an event planner. Oh, okay. See you on Monday. Okay, take care. You too. Go, 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 go. <laughs> Lady Dance! Meet my new ride! <gasps> wow! for you even yeah. though I would have preferred that you invested the money into a business like I advised but mm. if you chose to let Wilson buy you a car how could I find congratulations <laughs> thank you wow so Agnes now owns a car yes oh. so hey. but in case Leonard and Femi ask who owns the car it belongs to Chichi hmm? mm -hmm. what Chichi you of course why Look, I don't want them to know I own a car because mm. I am trying to get them to get me one edge. Mm. Wait, 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 wait. So Femi will get you a car. Mm -hmm. Leonard will get you another car. Mm -hmm. And then you have three cars. Yes. I mean, girls my age have much more than that. Is it just me or this is not making sense? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. You don't have a business. You're squatting with your friend. And you want to own three cars. That's none of your business. Hmm. I mean, this is Gina's house. And she's not complaining, are you? No, I'm not. But I would feel uncomfortable if you're squatting in this house with three cars in your name. Mm -hmm. Look. Mm -hmm. Look, it's not like I can't afford a place of my own. Just that staying with you girls is the only way I won't get caught dating three guys at once. Mm. Mm. Because you'll be using us to cover up your numerous lies, Abby. Exactly. And it would be impossible if I was living alone. I think you should put us on monthly salary. Yeah. With the way you use us to lie, you're supposed to pay us. Yeah. You know what? I'll think about that and get back to you girls. So how do you plan to wash this car for us? <laughs> 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 Don't worry girls, I'm going to take you girls out tomorrow for proper celebration. Mm -hmm. Well, you don't have a choice. But, on a serious note though, Agnes, I think you should start planning for the future. Start up a business or something. Look Chichi, not everyone is a businesswoman like you. Some of us just know how to look good and take each day as it comes. Mm -hmm. Well, Agnes, looking good and taking yourself to spa treatments and shopping sprees is not exactly a career path. I mean, it's not like you're a reality TV star. Mm. Oh, you know, maybe I was actually created to be a reality TV star. You know, staying fabulous and <laughs> letting the camera follow me about leaving La Vida Loca. <laughs> but I thought you were saying something about starting up a female boutique some time ago. Oh yeah, I remember you went shopping sometime to buy clothes you would start off with. Mm. All the clothes she bought ended up in her wardrobe. This girl, she started wearing everything by herself. I like
liked everything and I couldn't imagine someone else wearing them. So you mean you bought the clothes and shoes, all of them in your size? Mm-hmm. To be safe. Mm -hmm. In case I changed my mind about selling them. And I was right. I don't know. <laughs> Thank you. Hi, Agnes. Hi. Are you going out today? No. Why? I was wondering if I could use the car. I have a meeting with a client on the island today. No, you can't use the car. But you said you're not going out. Mm-hmm. I don't want the car to go out either. I'll fuel the car. For you know I'm a very careful driver. I can't. The car is still too new and I'm attached to it to let anyone drive it out. That makes no sense. Wait for about six months or dear about when I'm not too attached to it, then I can let you drive it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thanks for understanding. Wait! <coughs> Use this for cab fare. I'm not a charity case, Agnes. I don't need cab fare from you. What's up? Did she give you the keys? No. And it's not like she's going anywhere with the car. Why would she refuse then? Well, she said she's too attached to the car and then I have to wait till six months before I drive it or anybody else. That's not right, no. You know, I'll just use a cab like I always do. Hey, Henry, what's up? No, no, Allah, no. I've seen, I've seen, I've seen the property before. Yeah, I'll call you. No, no, no problem. No problem. I've seen the property. Hey, let me call you back. Hi. Hey. Hey. Hi. Biggest baby in town. <laughs> hey, look at you. Congratulations. Yeah, on your new car. Agnes told me about it. Oh, look she at did? you. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's great. Wow. Yeah, thank you, thank you what so much. Man? You've done well for yourself. I really like that. Thank you, no, thank no, no, you. No, 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 no. I just hope Agnes will just, you know, would learn on this rope of how you become a business genius. Yes, she will. <laughs> yes, she will. What? How did you go about it? Man, congratulations. <laughs> thank you, thank you so wow. much. The business has been good. Ah. Yes, yes. Uh, I just said, let me come and say hello to you. I have something I'm doing inside. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Wow. Right. Congrats. <laughs> Thank Congrats. you. Wow. You saw the car outside, right? <laughs> yes, 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 yes. yes. Okay, it's okay. a nice one, actually. Yes, I know. Thank you. You, you have good taste. <laughs> Thank you. I just hope Agnes is going to tell the same line. Wow. Agnes. Please, can I use the car? I need to go to the mall to get some things. You can't use the car. Please now, babe. The mall is just five minutes away from here. Take a bike. It's like you people want to kill that car for me. Suddenly, you people don't know how to use a car or other means of transportation. No, Vince. No, be worry. You people should not annoy me, yo. Soon, Chichi will come and tell me that she wants to drive the car to the toilet to ease herself. It's okay now. You've made your point clear. Ha. Huh. Femme is here to see you. Do you still want to go out with Agnes' car? I already asked her, she said no, and I won't beg her. Don't bother yourself about that. Just tell me if you still feel like driving her car out, and I'll get you the car key. Well, if you can, that would be awesome. I'll be right back with the key! <laughs> The pussy cat. <laughs> it's so beautiful. Hi guys. Hi. Uh, I'm so sorry to interrupt you. Hi. Agnes, uh, I'm looking for my car key and Gina said to ask you. Which car key? My car key. The one I, I just bought. The one in the compound. Yeah. Uh, Gina wants to use it so I need my car key. 
<laughs> I don't know where the car key is. Mm -mm. I'm sure you do. You went out with it yesterday. You remember? Uh, <laughs> yes, I remember. Yes. So can you kindly come and give me my car key? Yes, my car. Uh, yeah. It's my car, so I'm not supposed to be begging you to give me my key. Um, um, Agnes. Agnes. Yeah? Why don't you go get her car key, or have you misplaced it? Uh, no, 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 no. I, I know where the car key is. Then go get it. Yeah. All right, Femi, be good. You yeah. like the wine, yeah? It's good. You care for it? <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> I should have been serving you. <laughs> yes. Uh, Excuse me. Yes. Now, what is the meaning of this? Meaning of what? You asked Chichi to come blackmail me for the car key? No, I did not. Tina, stay out of this. Let me have the keys, Agnes. No, it's my car, and I'm not going to let anyone drive it yet. Agnes, you're so ungrateful. After everything Gina has done for you, she deserves to ride even you as a donkey whenever she wants to. Well, she, well, why can't she use a cab like she used to do? Hmm? You know what? It's fine. I'll just use a cab. No, Gina, you're not using any cab. Agnes, let me have the key. Else I'll go and tell Femi that you're refusing to give me my car keys and you have to get ready to answer questions. No, I am not giving anybody my key. Mm. Mm. Okay, watch me. <laughs> She's bluffing, right? I wouldn't know. Femi, I really don't understand what is wrong with Agnes. She has refused to give me my car key. Why? I don't know. That's why I want you to help me ask her why she doesn't want to give me my car key. Oh. I, I, I found the car key here. Oh. oh. Thank you. I'm sure, I'm sure it's not deliberate. Yeah, yeah, I know. Thank you for my car key. Be good. Okay. Thank you. Have a nice ride. Oh, Chichi, you didn't have to. Well, some people need to be taught how to be grateful. <laughs> All right, baby. Take care of yourself, yeah? Can you imagine my friend blackmailing me just because I use her to lie that she owns my car? It's not her fault. I was the one that was stupid enough to have trusted her. Wait, are you saying Chichi drove the car now? She doesn't even need the car. Mm -hmm. She lied on behalf of Gina. Can you believe that? That is not good at all. At all? And she actually wanted to tell Femi the truth. Nah, she won't do that. She told Femi that I refused to give her the keys. And Femi would have started asking me questions I can't answer. What Chichi did was wrong. I think I need to go have a word with her. Babe, hmm? I need a favor from you. What favor? I want to use Agnes's car tomorrow and I heard you're the only one with the power to make it happen. Go and ask her yourself now. I did. I wanted to go to the mall earlier and she blankly said no. Okay, so what makes you think she's going to say yes and give me the key? Because you own the car and she wouldn't want Lena the Femi to find out anything. Where do you want to take the car to? Job interview. Have a job interview tomorrow. I know how these companies like packaging. I know. It's a good cause. I'll help you. Thank you. If you're here to apologize, just forget it and save it. Because you don't know how angry I am with you right now. Blessing needs to use the car tomorrow morning. 
and you're going to give her the car key. Huh? She has a job interview to attend tomorrow morning and she needs to drive to boost her personality. <laughs> Chai! I am dining with enemies. Hmm. Ah, good to see you. Would you like to have a cup of coffee, tea? Ah, I'm fine, thank you. Are you sure? Absolutely. Oh, okay. I'm really glad you chose to do business with Apex Events. Uh, <clears throat> the thing is, I have a confession to make. What confession? Okay, I, I lied to Gina to get your number from her and I also lied to you when I called that I was coming over for business. Why would you do that? I need your help. I've been trying to ask Gina out for a long time now, but she keeps turning me... I don't know, she keeps turning me down. So I, I thought since you're her friend, you could help me with some clues on, on how to go about it. Are you, are you serious? Look, I know it may sound silly, but I've exhausted all the wooing skills in the book. I've tried to be funny, but her gifts, been close friend to her, but none worked. I really don't know what you would like me to do here. Um, um, I know she keeps saying she's not dating at the moment and yeah. that she thinks all men are not, are not trustworthy. But I just need her to give me a chance to prove to her that all men are not the same. You know what? I'm going to put in a few good words for you. Ah. Although I don't know anything about you. But for you to come and ask for my help means a lot. So I will do something. Thank you. It's fine. Thank it's good. You. It's fine. It's fine. <sighs> Your job interview didn't go well. There was no job interview at all. How do you mean? So I drove to the company mm -hmm. and the manager was standing outside. Mm -hmm. I pulled over, alighted from the car, and then I introduced myself. And the next question this guy asked me was, Who wants the car you came in? Uh -uh. Hmm. I don't want to take concern now. My sister, Tayao. I told him the car belongs to me. Mm -hmm. And then he said, sorry, you are not the right candidate for the job. Ah, ah. Wait. <laughs> because you came in your own car. I was shocked. Hmm. He said they needed someone who was hustling, mm -hmm. not an achiever like me. In a nutshell, propose worked against you. Agnes, Agnes, it's not funny. It's not funny at all. I don't even think those guys have a job to give names. Please, please, can I have my car keys? Ah, now my head catch you for conniving with Chi Chi to blackmail me. God don't catch you. Can I steal five minutes of your time before you sleep? Yeah, what's up? <sighs> Gina, don't you think you stayed off the dating scene for too long to start exploring again? Did my mother call you? No. My dad? No. My grandmother? No, listen, none of your family members called me. What's up with you and Brian? That guy strikes me as a really cool guy. Except you don't have any plans to start your family soon. You cannot stay off the dating scene forever. 
I know. Just Brian and I are not meant to be. May I ask why? Because I don't feel anything for him. Gina, you don't have any feelings for anyone. And that is because your mind is programmed to shut out all feelings of affection and love for any man. You think that's it? I know that's it. Listen, I'm not saying you should rush into it, but just loosen up and learn to love again. Okay, I'll think about it. Are you sure? 